We're going to move now to DP Tech, DP Tech Link. They are next in our spotlight. DP Tech Link is an ag-based logistics software and solutions company. Mike Schindelar tells us more. Hello, my name is Mike Schindelar. I'm the CEO of DP Tech Link. And today we're here to talk about leveraging information technology in an egg-based logistics system. We believe that there are four fundamental pieces to any agricultural-based logistics system. Those foundational pieces are transparency, traceability, process efficiencies, and biosecurity. Starting with transparency, we believe that the rise of this <clears throat> really came about with the invention of the prosumer. Prosumer is a, a proactive or professional consumer that is driving the food industry towards new levels of transparency. Prosumers also act as a brand advocate, uh, very similar to what you see with social media where you have influencers. And we believe that they can be advocates, they can be detractors, um, but they're going to affect how people make their buying decisions. And social media is their primary vehicle for making this happen. Traceability. On January 4, 2011, the Food Safety and Modernization Act was signed into law. The primary purpose of this was to really shift the focus uh, of federal regulators from responding to contamination in our food supply, but to really how do we prevent that and be more proactive. We believe that FISMA is the backbone or the framework for what is known as the farm to table supply chain. And it's important that through that supply chain, we have complete traceability and transparency. On the swine side, we believe from a traceability standpoint that you know, with daily reality of uh, PERS or PED, or even the threat potentially of ASF outbreak in the USA, the ability to track feed ingredients, finish feed, animal movements in real time is imperative to closing that system and making it a complete cycle. Process inefficiencies, just a couple facts for you. 40% of all miles that are driven in the agricultural logistics uh, sector are empty, empty trailers, deadheading is typically what it's called. That translates into over 3 billion miles a year with nothing on the trucks. Another fact, 65% of all truck drivers say that they wait three to or more hours at the shipping dock or their load out location. And we believe with the pandemic, that number has even increased. Another piece of information, the US estimated truck driver shortage by the year 2026, five short years from now, will be between 200 and 330 drivers, according to the American Truck Trucking Association and other industry sources. And the final fundamental is biosecurity. Biosecurity is a term similar to what we all know about cybersecurity, which is in the tech sector. Biosecurity is a term that in the egg business, we have all become familiar with. With the changes that have occurred in animal production over the last 50 years, scale, size, confinement, et cetera, this has really driven biosecurity to be a fundamental component of our animal production system. We believe that one gap that exists in the movement <clears throat> that exists today is the movement of products, feed, actual animals from point to point. And we believe by utilizing information technology to track these movements will allow for a complete and full circle biosecurity system, which is imperative. So how do we address those four fundamental issues? It's one of the things that we did when we set out to create our new product called Logistics. And one of the things that we'll go over is some of the features within our product and how they address those fundamentals that we just talked about. Based on that, we're gonna focus on five different functions 
that logistics has and how they address some of those issues that we talked about initially with those fundamental uh, concerns, you know, traceability, transparency, process efficiencies, and biosecurity. First one we're gonna talk about is schedule. One of the things that you wanna be able to have is you wanna have complete flexibility to be able to put together in bulk all things that are happening. For example, if you're moving hogs, not only are you moving market hogs, but you need to uh, also move uh, feeder pigs or uh, wieners or any of the other movements that occur, you need to be able to have that all encompassed in one system and be able to do that in, in bulk. The other thing that you need to be able to have from a scheduling standpoint is that it's real time and that if there's issues that occur, breakdowns, um, run into a, a snowstorm, anything like that, that you have the real time ability to notify and let everybody know what's happening from a scheduling perspective. The second feature is the dispatch feature, which allows you to be able to match up with specific loads specific equipment, specific drivers, making sure that you get the best match. The other side that's really key with this function is that you have the ability to watch step-by-step, -step, real time, the movement of that truck through uh, all the activities that it's doing to pick something up, to if it has a biosecurity step, is it going through the wash? Is it uh, going to the right location? All those things through a live map capability, you have that ability to track each and every turn. The next feature is the driver interface. One of the things that we strived for was to be able to make this easy for our drivers. And again, in some contests, whether they're, they're third party drivers or they're self-contained drivers, the ability to have on a smartphone, have all their tasks that they're asked to do on a daily basis, basically comes to them through their mobile application. You can also uh, use your loadout uh, crews. You can provide this to um, site managers, to growers, whoever it may be, you can provide them with that. The other thing that happens is they get real time alerts, uh, things that change. The next application is the biohazard avoidance um, app function. There's two pieces to this. <clears throat> There's two levels of what we call an avoidance zone that we allow you to be able to put in place. The first one is global. And this is where um, a group, either governmental or uh, institutional um, industrial uh, group says, for example, maybe the USDA says there's a quarantine because there happens to be an ASF breakout or there's some other uh, issue like that. We handle that from a global perspective and literally put a, a quarantine zone in place so that your drivers know not to drive through that area and will be that will happen real time as things occur. The second level is putting in bio avoidance zones uh, from an organizational standpoint. For example, if you've got a road that gets washed out in the spring due to a flood, you can put that in uh, as an avoidance zone. Another example would be is that if you have a site that breaks out with PERS and you don't want other trucks going into that area, you can put an avoidance zone and basically it will through real time and turn by turn, keep your drivers and trucks out of that location. And the final function is, is the administrative and that's where you set up the roles, whether it's a scheduler, a dispatcher, driver, um, loadout team, whoever it may be, you set up their roles and responsibilities within the system so that they have the functions that they can do to be able to do their, their normal jobs. It's also where you will set up your, your avoidance zones. Those are some of the key things, functions within the system. So our intent today was to give you a quick overview of logistics and, and some of this functionality, addressing those fundamental pieces that we believe uh, an egg-based logistics system needs to have. Um, if you'd like to check us out further, you can uh, go to our website, which is www.dptechlink.com. And with that, uh, I'm going to open it up to questions. Thank you.
Thanks, Mike. We really appreciate that information. Mike and Nick Canute are joining us now to take your questions. Producers, all you need to do is just drop them in that QA box at the bottom of your Zoom link, and we will uh, make sure we get these questions answered. And we've got a couple that have come in from our producers. Um, first of all, um, how applicable is this to operations that seasonally run their own trucks for grain and livestock? I'll take that one. Um, the reality is that if you're running a seasonal and the idea when we put the logistics platform together for uh, logistics is that it allows you to be able to track any cargo that you're actually running. And so whether it's seasonal or it's full time, um, it doesn't matter because the way uh, we charge is based upon the usage. So if you're not using the app, you don't pay for it. Okay. What about autonomous trucking systems in agriculture like Waymo? That's that's the next question from our producer. So um, Waymo and some of the other autonomous uh, systems obviously are in the development phase. Um, and from our standpoint as a logistics software, whether we talk physically to a truck driver through their mobile application or have the ability through an API to communicate to in an autonomous system, to us it doesn't matter. We'd have to do testing to make sure that the information is getting passed correctly, but I don't see any issue with that whatsoever. Obviously, there'd have to be some uh, connection work through that API to make sure things actually talk together uh, in the right fashion. And we've got one more question. Um, could feed ingredient companies or carriers use this software uh, tool as well? Yeah, so you know, really any movement or haul that is needed with a with a set schedule and a communication to drivers can, can be used with it through logistics. So um, it really doesn't have to be um, a specific uh, live haul movement. So no issues there. And of course, the final question: How can our producers get in touch with you? Let's let's hit that one more time for them. Yeah, you can uh, email me at uh, nknute at dptechlink.com or give my cell phone a call. That's 712-790-2401. Uh, Great. We really appreciate you both Mike and Nick being with us today and DP TechLink being here with us, as well as the support of our producers here in the state of Iowa, Iowa Port Congress and being an Iowa Pork Alliance member. Thank you very much for your time today.